Hello and welcome back to the Spotlight Games Podcast for episode 118. Today, it's time to check in on the Fantasy Critic League that we started at the beginning of the year, because this might be shocking to some of you, but we're a quarter of the way through 2024 and the sun is gone. I'm your host, Patrick. <laughs> Joining me as always, my sweet dumpster boy, Cayman Darty. Yep, I'm okay. here. <laughs> Yep, and but we're not just joined by that sack of shit. We also have Jordan, aka Cognitive Clips. Jordan, welcome back to the show. How are you? Good. How are you doing, man? I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. Also, the ladies from the JK Games podcast, Jerrica and Kayla. Jerrica, how are you today? A little bloated. Okay. Tired. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just ate the biggest bowl of cereal because Whoa. sometimes I just like Whoa. to just eat. It it was two bowls worth. Because I refilled it, I guess. So I had what double kind of helpings. I like to mix cereals. Like, mm. I like to usually have like a really neutral, neutral base, which is usually Frosted Flakes. And then I find a, a fruity, so any fruity cereal. So this was fruit, uh, fruit Loops Fuck. and Frosted Flakes. Um, You're kind of breaking my mind right now. I've never even considered mixing cereals. Oh, God. I've been doing it. <laughs> I, I've been doing it my whole life. So I didn't really consider that being like a niche thing sure would you um, say that it eclipses the flavor of them separately <laughs> when you combine them yeah mm. it's just i don't know i like both and i'm always missing one or the other when i have cereal so i just put them together <laughs> I love a them. bona fide <laughs> cereal killer over here <laughs> yes hey! uh, follow-up question about cereal yeah. anybody else not prefer milk with their cereal or am i just the weirdo bro I'll are, eat you gonna say, are you gonna say water <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm not a psychopath. Psychotic behavior. I just like dry cereal. I do too. Yes, yeah, delicious. I don't like I don't like the, when it gets soggy. That really stresses me out. Wait a second. That's that's are some there, get out stuff right there. Are there people yeah. that came in? Are you about to tell me that you put water in your cereal? No, because I'm not a crazy man. I also okay. don't eat my cereal dry. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I like a dry little treat. Um, hey. Just raw dog at his breakfast over here, man. Yes. <laughs> Sue me. Uh, <laughs> rounding out our quintet today, Kayla from the JK Games Podcast as well. Kayla, how are you today? I'm doing great. I thought I fried my eyeballs out today yeah. from the solar eclipse, but uh, thankfully I did it, which is a win. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure I would like to see if there's anyone out there that really has gotten damage from the <laughs> eclipse. I hope not, but it's, I mean, someone probably did. Right. I mean, if anyone did, it'd be fans of Spotlight Games podcast. So. Yeah. I mean, I was listening <laughs> to right. NPR and like it was different people from across the world, I guess, experiencing it at different times. And this one lady was like, they were trying to interview. I guess she was on the phone talking to whoever was like interviewing her. And she was a teacher, I guess, with the elementary school children. And like she couldn't even enjoy it because she's just like trying to keep the children like safe, their eyeballs yeah. safe because they're all trying to like look into the sun. Of course they are. Kids so, are always a liability. Damn kids. So I'm sure there's a few children out there that just can't <laughs> see anymore. Good. Yeah. They deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> um, well, today's show goes out to them. Um, it does. We, yeah. They're in our hearts and minds. Um, we have a lot of video games to talk about because this is the Spotlight Games Podcast where each week we spotlight the latest and the greatest in the world of video games. You can get it by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Spotlight Games Pod or by searching for Spotlight Games in your favorite podcast app and hey you can be on the show by tuning in as we record live tuesdays normally at 8 p.m eastern time on twitch.tv slash spotlight games pod so be sure to follow us there so that you're notified when we go live so you can be part of the conversation except it's not tuesday it's monday we are not only live on twitch.tv slash spotlight games pod we're also live on twitch.tv slash jk games podcast mm -hmm. jerica kayla well let's introduce your audience do you have any like housekeeping -y things you want to say well, uh, we, you can always follow us on JK Games Podcast on all platforms. That's universal around everything. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jordan, for holding that up. Really, really giving the plug. Um, we do also have another podcast called Clickerbait. Uh, if you enjoy The Last of Us Things, you can always go check us out there. We don't have separate social media platforms, but we do have a separate um, separate podcast on all, all the platforms you can find them. Um, we hopefully have some things to talk about on that coming up soon. You know, we always are jumping at the bit for the chance to talk about that. So hopefully, fingers crossed that comes soon. But no, that's about all we got. We're happy Hell to be yeah. here. We're having Hell us. Yeah. Of course. And Jordan, I know you don't do a podcast on your channel, but you show up on a lot of podcasts. <laughs> Let's tell the folks at home if they don't know uh, what you're working with. 
tell them a little bit about Cognitive Clips and then let's get into the show. Yeah, uh, always a guest host, never a host. That's kind of my newly adopted tagline for myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I do normally do you know some gameplay videos and or video essays over on YouTube at Cognitive Clips, Cognitive Hyphen Clips. If you're using a little um, username symbol search there, but um, yeah, I just put one out that took me a, most of the month of March to get together. So that was a relief to get done. <laughs> so Hell yeah, yeah. Go like, subscribe, watch the essays, watch the clips. Folks, they are cognitive. cognitive. They are, so, oh God, they're so cognitive. <laughs> um, Q1 is over. We're in Q2. As of today, it's April, what is it, 8th? Um, yes. The day the sun went out. I don't, I don't, and I we are gathered. <laughs> say that again, Cayman? We, we don't know anymore. We don't know. We don't, we know, don't anymore. know anymore. We simply just do not know. We'll um, maybe. We're existing outside of time, <laughs> truly. Yeah. We're in a whole new plan since, since 2020, basically. Yeah, just wow, well, 2016. Let's let's go back a little. Further. Conspiracy podcast, actually. Uh, That's what you're here for. <laughs> truly, yes. Um, flat Earth. <clears throat> hey, if you follow me on Instagram, but there's a lot of flat Earth discussion this weekend. <laughs> um, it's the end of, or not the end of Q1. It's the beginning of Q2, which means we've had three months of video games come out. Three months and some change. So we're going to talk about our fantasy critic league. If you weren't here a few months ago. The five of us got together, drafted a bunch of video games in a little fantasy league. We get points based on how well they do in the open critic score. Open critic is like a, a similar to Metacritic, if you're not familiar. Um, for every point above the score of 70, we get a point for that game. For every point below 70, on the average, we lose a point, so on and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to do today, we're, we've gathered the gang together. We're going to go through our teams. We're going to go through the games that have come out, the games that we've added, the games that we've dropped. We're going to provide to you an update from us on our league. Essentially, spoiler alert, Cayman's kicking our asses. <laughs> oh, no. But... We're and that's the show. Thank anything. you for being here. It's yes. been great. Uh, <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> subscribe, share. So I figure what we can do, let's just pull the Band-Aid off. <laughs> let's start with Cayman. Cayman, <laughs> walk us through your team so far. What's come out? How is it doing? And maybe we'll chime in as you unveil your games and how they've been doing, if we've been playing them and what we thought of them. <laughs> Cayman, well, I hate it. Let me just say, the Todd Howard's downfall <laughs> is indeed correct. Uh, it was correct last year. It's correct again this year. What has what has my team been doing? My team has been whooping y'all's ass. We know that. Yeah. Uh, that's there's really no question about that. It's, wow. it's actually kind of I brutal. haven't looked in a minute. This is really upsetting. It's kind of it's kind of brutal. Um, so, <laughs> so, so, so my approach my approach this year was to just go with the games that I thought were going to be the best games this year. Unlike the rest of you guys, which apparently y'all went with your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> that was my mistake. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I did not go with my heart. There are a couple games on here that I I took a swing in it and got a hit with. Do you so have a heart to start with? <laughs> not no. There's that's that's hotly debated, and I don't <laughs> think it exists. Um, but I started off, I think my number one pick was actually Tekken 8, mm -hmm. which was I believe a wild... this is in the order in which they were added. Yeah. The, the oh, okay, makes sense. Screen. Correct. Yep. It was a wild, it was a wild start with Tekken 8. Here's the thing. I am not a fighter guy. I don't yeah. play. I played, I think the last Tekken game I played was Tekken 5. So there's wow. been a few iterations since yeah. then. But here's the thing. Tekken 7 didn't do very well, perform-wise. Like, I don't th I think it did like a like an average of like seven out of ten. Hmm. Wasn't great. But here comes with the brain power comes in. They took some time. And also typically games like this, like I went with the whole I went with the Street Fighter mentality where it was like Street Fighter five didn't do very well. Street Fighter six did really well. So I just was hoping for the best here. Sure. Tekken eight is coming out swinging hot right off the bat. Solid really? 20 points. Felt yeah. great. Final Fantasy Rebirth coming in at number two. That was kind of a given that it was going to do well. The fact that no one picked it up at number one, shame on all of you. Yeah. No, that's... I look at your list, and I ask myself, I had a chance to get both Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, and <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I didn't get <laughs> I either of them. I don't know what's wrong with us. Right? Yeah. Who? Yeah. I don't. I forget the order in which we picked as well, so um, I, I don't remember... But yeah, I don't remember. I, it is I a can, shame. It's a crime it. that we didn't all all try for that. We I let think Kim, that I was. I think I was second. 
Here, you know what's sad is I still haven't even played Final Fantasy Re- for Seven Rebirth yet. <laughs> I haven't. I mean, you don't need busy. to. You got it's on there. Points I'm still going. Point. I'm still going. I'm still chugging away in that game. I'll get to it eventually. How's How's Chadley? How's he? How's I hate he him. Chadley. I, so much. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Little, that little bitch boy made a comeback. That should have. That should have made it. What What did it score? What's uh, what is it's it? Ninety three. Yeah, a little humble little Chad, ninety three. Chadley's the re- reason it's not a hundred. I That's guess true. I don't know. Fuck That's that the shit. reason. A gentleman's <laughs> ninety three on the. <clears throat> yeah. So we yeah. went with we went with Final Fantasy Rebirth. I then came up with what I expect, and I didn't during our predictions. I actually predicted Stalker Two would be Game of the Year this year. The truth is, I actually, I think on, someone can pull this up. Uh, John's out there somewhere. I know he's he's got a clip cut somewhere about this. He's Dragon's Dogma there. 2, even though it scored an 87 on open credit, which criminally low, I'd say. Still really strong, though. It was strong, criminally low. This, I think, is actually game of the year. I think this legitimately will be game of the year, Dragon's Dogma 2, which I'm still chucking along at. I'm at like 75, 80 hours in this game. Wow. Don't even think I'm halfway through. Okay. This game's fucking amazing. Solid pickup. Obviously, Stalker 2 hasn't come out yet, but you know what did surprisingly well? And that is my boy, uh, my boy Ichiban Kasuga Mm -hmm. with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which I want to say was my last pick of the draft, potentially. I think Elden um, Ring was the last pick of the draft. For you. Was it? Wow, yeah. you guys really were bad. <laughs> yeah, we fucked it up. <laughs> <But I think laughs> you let me get the last yeah. pick. Yeah, we, <laughs> we all forgot a about name it. too. It was yeah. just like, I think you just said like Elden Ring DLC, or do we have the name already? I don't even know. I, think I don't think we did. Know. Did we? I don't know. All I know is I got it. But yeah. Infinite Wealth came out, and I platinumed Infinite Wealth. Infinite Wealth is an absolute miracle of a JRPG. Just a beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, going through, you know, Elden Ring, we already talked about Elden Ring. It'll come out eventually, and it's going to score me at least 20 points. Let's be yeah, honest. At, at the it, very least. At the very least, 20 points. Easy. Easy win right there. Yeah. Here's the thing. I picked up right after the draft ended. I went out and snagged Helldivers 2 right before release. 83 points. Or 13 like points. For free. Well, yeah, 83 critic with 13 it's funny. points. Yeah. It's funny. That was one that, when it you know famously no one really thought it was going to be great and then like a week before everyone was like wait a second is this going to be really fucking good but you had already added it then so you were ahead of the curve there yeah um but took a swing on it it's fun like i feel like looking at it now how the conversation has gone with helldivers 2 i feel like if it was reviewed today it would be in the 90s yeah oh for sure because people love that game so much jerica have either of you played helldivers 2 yes and actually been meaning to get back to it. It's just, you know, destiny. But yeah, like out the gate, it was so much fun. Way yeah. better than I expected, especially compared to its predecessor. Um, I mm-hmm. feel like it was like more of a top down situation. It's mm-hmm. old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't really, I've never heard of Hell Helldivers. I never knew of it until I saw the trailer for this one. So yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's I, a success it, story and I'm glad it exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I it's, haven't played it, but I'm, I'm a big shoot, fan of shooters. So I think I would actually enjoy it from what I've seen. You need to uh, check it out. It's, I just have never, I I don't, I never heard of it either. So it caught me by surprise when I saw a lot of people talking about it. Well, it's when you pick those, it up, we need yeah. to do a little joint stream because it's Ooh. really fun. It's one of those games that's very interesting to me because I've like, I don't think it's nearly as fun when you, I mean, it's fun even playing solo, but like, Drop in, drop out is okay. I think the further you get into the game, like you get people who are like just tryhards. So like the the <laughs> fun to them is just making your life misery if you're not having the same fun they're having. <laughs> but that being said, when you play as a group, it is honestly one of the, if not the funniest game I've ever played. <laughs> like it's it great. is just hysterical from start to finish. So coming in, I do, it's a little bit of a bummer with it only scoring me 13 points because it is. And I honestly would put Helldivers 2 up there as the dark horse this year for being game of the year contender. Like I genuinely think it'll be nominated for game of the year. Um, I think it would not surprise me at all. I think it's got that. I was, I actually had uh, Jordan pull some, pull some data for me the other day because I was too lazy to do it myself. <laughs> and uh, we looked and I'm it a up nerd see, anyways, so fine. and I, I can't remember <laughs> off the top of my head, the, I want to say that it was like Stray was one of the lowest scoring open critic scores for a game nominated for Game of the Year. Hmm. Was Stray? Oh, that's a that's with an, an interesting step. Yeah, with an eighty-two, 
And I'm trying to remember what game it was, but there is a game that one game of the year was like an 85. And I can't for the life of me remember what that game was. Was it Dragon Age? It might have been Dragon Age Inquisition. Mm. I think that actually is correct, Patrick. Um, That's a good, so, really good guess. Yeah. So like we went, so like went through, and I was like, logically, it's got a case to make, but I, th- I don't know if it'll eclipse Dragon's Dogma Two or Final Fantasy Seven at this point. And we still have a bunch of other games to come out this year. Yeah. And so for me, coming up, Path of Exile Two, I snagged most recently. Uh, Path of Exile Two, free to play game. Never played the original, but. The original scored really well, so this was kind of another like this is going to score well too. So screw you guys, <laughs> going with the <laughs> going with brain here. Um, I went with just a, a my heart pick. My heart pick was EA EA Sports College Football twenty five. Sure, I I think I'm going to get a solid like ten points, but I'm going to do it because I'm, I'm hoping you get like three tops. There's a chance, but I yeah. doubt it. I'm yeah, on I feel a like streak. I feel like our path forward. Uh, speaking to everyone not named Cayman right now, our path mm-hmm. forward. We need Stalker Two to not come out, which could happen. Which it's, could it's happen. An Xbox exclusive. It could very. I would, well I would feel bad wishing that on that poor team. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> have it drop <laughs> January first, twenty twenty five. I'm fine with that. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> Fourth college football twenty five. Total. Total bust of a game really you want to you want to you want to hope that patrick you really i want, want to hope that? i want the game to bring down ea no more ea after this game because it's that bad no i don't want that uh, i just want you to lose <laughs> is what i'm getting <laughs> how do well, we get I, there i hate to be the bearer of bad news here but world of goo 2 i don't know if you guys know anything about world of goo Oh, I, the, I, I little, played the rails off i can't say i do unfortunately so it was like really big it's like an old game game the oh brother 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 uh world of goo actually if i'm not mistaken has like a 90 on metacritic it, it wow. was really really highly rated when it first so came. and i'm uh, what i'm doing here is i'm i'm latching on to greg miller's coattails because he is like a world of goo like he's <laughs> that's his thing one of his him and that and patapon is like yeah. his weird shit that he just and held ever's actually he's a big held ever's guy Looky there. See? Looky there. I'm, I'm just writing the people who know more about this stuff. Than Riding them hard. I'm just writing their coattails. Hey. So, yeah, I'm kind of expecting World of Goo 2 is probably going to come in around that 85 mark. That's the goal here. Looking for an 85. I also feel like... And I still got three open slots. So. Yeah, you got three open slots. And then Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. I don't know that that's going to hurt you this year. It's, it, that it. game is going to be absolute fucking dog shit. And I can say that because that's a pick from my team unfortunately so yeah came in currently in the driver's seat uh Mm. that's for certain um let's uh, drop over to i can't think straight jerica's team uh jerica walk us through um you know how you're feeling so far what's you know what's come out uh what's on its way that kind of thing let's let's hand it over to you hey i i think the bulls are in the bullpen they just can't get out yeah you know what i'm saying they're not out yet they're just like putting their little not out yet yeah yeah, they're not out of the, the closet bullpen they're thinking, yet. They're, they're thinking too straight. You know, <laughs> yeah. To... So I think I got a lot of good games that are coming that, you know, my first pick, I had the opportunity to pick anything, but I picked micro, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just historically, always reviews well. And I think this, it looks like the, to be the best one. Yeah. Um, that should get you like a solid 25. I would that, is a, that is a brain pick. We appreciate it over here. And yeah, Todd, Todd Howard's downfall <laughs> appreciates that mentality. <laughs> uh, the plucky squire is also, I feel like, gonna. I, I, based on what I've seen, the trailer just looks like this game's too good to be true. And if it could live up to expectations and mm-hmm. really be fun to play, I, agree. I think that could easily fall into because I can't remember the who's developing it. Uh, I have to pull it up, but I their pedigree that. is, but I feel like it's it's indie, right? It's mm-hmm. considered an indie. Mm-hmm. It's been uh, being uh, being something distributed by uh, Devolver, I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's where they showed it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's being made by all possible futures. I'm looking to see what if they've it's, done anything else. I just wonder if there's been an update for it coming out, because I feel like I picked it last year, I think, as well, when it was I first I feel like we out. saw something recently about it. But I could be wrong. Google is currently just saying coming 2024. No specific I, release. I would be yet. I would be shocked if it gets bumped to 2025 at this point. I agree. 
Um, it, it's, it's one of those games, yeah. like we've seen it in multiple Nintendo Directs at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I feel like this is, if at the very least, a fall game, I would think. And it looks really good. It mm-hmm. does. I'm it very good. excited. I don't like its uh, cover art or, you know, what I forget. I want to call it album art. I can't think right now. Sure, sure. I album don't like arts. its, its I don't like that. But everything else, I love it. I think they call it key art. Th- that's maybe? the word I'm looking yeah. for. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it doesn't do it justice. Uh, I got Visions of Mana. Because I hear those mana games are really great. I know nothing about it, but I've been in semi open okay. fields. I look, I think you're in for a banger right here with Visions of Mana. Some for of sure. the previews that have been coming out over the last couple of weeks have been like super positive. I think IGN specifically was like, there is a chance this could be the best mana game in the series, which, oh, okay, yeah, all things considered, that's a really high bar. So if it, if it hits that, then that's a 2025 20, point game. Hell yeah. Then I got Lost Records, Bloom and Rage, because I love a good don't nod game. Mm-hmm. I haven't looked historically <laughs> like uh like what was the the last game that's similar? Was that um was it Life is Strange 2? Was the one that's similar um, to this the last I guess well did Don't Nod do true colors or was that okay. a different uh, oh did they? I think so. Okay. Let's see. I can't remember. I get confused who does what. Absolutely phenomenal game, might I add. One of my I favorites I don't think they from that year. did. You know, I know. I think you're right, Jericho. I don't think they did. Um, I think like the you last know. similar game was the sequel, like Life is Strange 2, mm. which I guess technically yeah, so isn't the sequel. But... Who took over for after the storm or before the storm or oh. during the storm, whatever it was called? So there's uh, Go Nod Deck, Deck 9. Deck 9. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, cool, nice one. but I, I loved Life is Strange too. It was great. I think they're able to pull that off, tell a good story. The gameplay is what it is like you're walking around, interacting with characters. I'm really intrigued by the story. I feel like, if anything, 75 to 80 ish. Yeah, so the last one that came for. out that is similar to this, it seems, was Tell Me Why, which got an 81. Oh, oh. I forgot about Tell Me Why. Tell never me why? Started, yeah. never Ain't finished. But then also their most recent game, Banishers Ghost of New Eden, which we'll talk about. Obviously a very different game, but that, oh, that got an 80. So I would think, I feel like 80 is the floor here. Mm. Do we think this is coming out this year? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah I, think I, think it, so. I think it had a release date for this year, or maybe it, I don't remember. I think from what I'm looking at, as far as what Fantasy Critic says, it says late 2024. I don't know where that okay. came from. Okay. I hope so. I'm excited for it too. I got The Wolf Among Us 2, which I've never played the original, but it's got a huge cult following so i figured let's go out and go all in i just hope it comes out this year i I really really hope so i'm right there i i genuinely don't think it's going to come out this year but god damn it i really hope (laughs) it does it's been delayed has it been like officially delayed are they just like we're making it and well so it was originally if i'm not mistaken supposed to come out in 2022 Okay. And then it got pushed to 23 and then it got pushed to 24 so i would be shocked if it didn't come out this year because of how much it's already been pushed. And part of the reason it was already, I mean, like COVID and yeah, uh, that thing telltales like reboot caused all sorts that of little anyway. little thing. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 yeah, I think as long as that comes out, I think that should be, cause I played, um, what's the series that you liked on Amazon came in that they just did a game of the expanse. expanse. I, I like, really, the expanse I want to get, I want to get to it. I really want to, I want to play Wait, a game. I've been mm-hmm. hoping mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. would do like an is there like an HD remake or updo for The Wolf Among Us? Like no. I really want to play it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I don't think they're, don't they're they've had an updo yet, but it needs one. Right around the it needs Bigs, an updo. Bigsby Wolf walking around with a beehive haircut. Hell yeah, <laughs> sign me up. I'm in. Let's go. I need an updo. I need an updo. <laughs> Whoever's working on that. Uh Telltale, right? Yeah, it's it's telltale. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh and then of course I have locked in baby steps. It's just a, I just think it's that's a beautiful thing that's gonna come out later it's this a year. Thing. That's gonna it's gonna come be a beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna review. I don't know will will it be fun? I don't know. It, it's gonna be funny. Hey, that's, and that's all I want is to laugh and have a good time. I just don't know how much that will help it. We'll see. Streams and memes. That's all it's good for. <laughs> yeah, streams and memes. Which might make it rate well. Who knows? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm I'm really surprised Princess Peach Showtime 
didn't mm-hmm. get a higher score because I'm just used to Nintendo games having more. That's the only reason I picked it. Yeah. <laughs> so dang, yeah, what I was, was I it? Was Did anyone play? Did anyone play? I it? haven't played um, this one yet, but I have mm-hmm. played the demo. I'm not surprised that it got a 76. Ooh. It's not bad. It's just like it. Even for a Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch game, it's like a little janky and so and is it, it more of like a performance standpoint or like uh gameplay what do you it, think it's a, it's a smidge of both like it's not it's not mm. bad like i um like my daughter likes to play with me sometimes she's only like three so we have to like basically each play have without the controller which is really cute and all uh but yeah it's it's kind of like mm-hmm. it's it's in that weird middle ground where it's like a little bit slightly too complicated for the young young gamers but mm-hmm. too simple for like adult gamers who may want to still play the, the Mario universe games, like yeah. Mario Wonder would didn't have that problem. That was just like stellar all the, all the way through. So, um, and you it's a good. Had... It's 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 there's fun to be had, but I'm not surprised that it didn't score higher. Yeah. To be okay. honest, you couldn't have had your three year old daughter write a ten out of ten review for Jerrica to get this score up. That's <laughs> <They're pretty> right. It's <laughs> <laughs> really unfortunate. I am curious. I, th- I think for me, like. I've seen enough, I feel like, of Princess Peach Showtime to tell you it's a video game. <laughs> nice. But I couldn't tell you anything else about it based I on all of the gameplay I've seen. Like, it seems like WarioWare, but n- way less chaotic, which I don't think works mm. in its favor. Mm, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were they were a little quiet about it after they kind of had the big splash, which I guess, you know, now seeing the score, maybe that's why, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, next one's Destiny 2, the final shape. What's the could... what's the word on the street about Destiny 2, the final shape, Jerrica? I will know more tomorrow. Well, well obviously it's been delayed. It was supposed to be out February. Okay. Uh, I forgot the original date, but uh, it's been pushed to June, which it's good. I need this game to have as much time as it needs because this is going to make or break some situations, I'm sure, with Bungie. Sure. Um. So I'm pretty sure because uh, this is their final piece of DLC, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The final shape. Ooh, yeah, yes, the final there. shape of something. Yeah. And I think it was <laughs> originally the final game Bungie puts out. I unfortunately oh. call it uh, not Beyond Light, but Lightfall every time because I think originally the that's that was the the last expansion was going to be called Lightfall, and mm. I don't know the true story, but expansion sort of got it got uh spread out a little bit further mm. so final shape was the new uh so i keep calling it always it. happens with destiny yeah um anyways you asked me like what where i think this is gonna you know yeah i think it being the last hoorah and before all the the chaos that ensued at the studio i think they were on to the this is gonna be a uh Definitely a, a fan servicey experience for Guardians that have been st- sticking with it for over ten years. Yeah, no this doubt. is a. It's like literally a. I'm. I took off like almost at least a uh, six days, and then the next weekend to do the raid because it's the last big raid. You're taking yeah. down Thanos and Destiny. Cool. So do I you get to shrink down, go up his pee hole, and I hope so. Up. You sort of do that with a dragon in the <laughs> oh. game already. Whoa. Not, not that hole, but through. Am I about to play hole. Destiny? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a great game. Anyone you had me play? at a different hole. You yep. lost me at the hole you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fi- play to find out, you know? <laughs> and that is the final shape. That's it. <laughs> the, the final hole. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know where he's going to land. I think it will land 78. Really, you think oh, that low? Prediction between I'm, 78 83. I'm I, thinking 85, honestly. Like, I just don't I think, know. I don't, it's, it's sort of hard to rate the. I've never picked an expansion like sure. this. Like, I don't usually pick it for my picks. I don't really pay attention to the, the, the reviews on that bit because I play them no ma- matter what. But yeah, what do you, what do you think? They, they kind of well, go back and forth. I, th- I think that beyond light. The one with, the, with Europa and um, yeah. the really thick robot lady. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> that one was really well reviewed and it was awesome. Uh, and then 
whichever one was the the strand type dlc oh um, uh that one was not so well yeah reviewed. last year's yeah last year something weird happened uh the witch queen to me was the best expansion of all time yes yeah, so that, that one did really well too has like an 88 80s, on yeah. open critic lightfall okay. has a 71 which i'm surprised all by. right i'm being pretty harsh all right, with that knowledge, I, I think there's going to be a happy medium yeah. for that. If there's a lot of Destiny hardcore fans reviewing this game, I think it's, hopefully, maybe not, but I, I feel like it's going to be so fan servicey that the things that don't make sense or don't play well, we will be okay with because if we're you, like, this is awesome. If you I've played mind, the game Jerica. since day one from Destiny 1. I still don't know oh, no. what's going on in this game. So it... <laughs> um. I'm like, entropy. I'm, I'm too, I, know entropy. I want to pick your brain for a second, if you don't mind. So, as someone who was really big into Destiny when it first launched, and I played Witch Queen, I think I played in whatever the next one was after mm -hmm. that. Um, I went back for Lightfall. Mm -hmm. I was completely lost. Like, it felt like the systems had changed so dramatically that it was like an absolutely overwhelming experience that I just could not latch back onto. Yeah. Like, oh, that's that like, do you think as as someone who's been playing it continuously, like do you think that if we if there are reviewers that are like, hey, I haven't played Destiny in a couple of years and I'm getting back in to do this review, that like just the fact that the game is now super overwhelming with like its fundamental systems, that like, that could just like sour this whole experience? Uh yes and no, because like I feel like for the last year, because there hasn't been as much content, and then also they push the expansion, uh, like Every few months, there's a big, I wouldn't say big, but there's been a couple of big, like, quality of life improvements that, like, mm -hmm. we've been wanting the whole time, and we just got in the last year and a half. Like, you can do Fire Team Finder, um, you can create your own loadouts, which, for someone new to Destiny, though, that's still confusing as fuck. So, I, like, don't mm -hmm. know. It's, it's the hardest <laughs> game to invite your friends to play, but as people that, have, for anyone that's been playing forever, it's the easiest time to play. For but sure. But it's not for everybody. It's it's mm. tough to say. I think that's part of I like why. your I like you <laughs> at the I like it at an 81. I like locking it in at an 81. Yeah. Are I, are there any chances that Peter Dinklage comes back for this final DLC? Oh my god, voice, I really hope guy. so. That's there's a lot of wishes, yeah. and that's, that's god, one I, of them. I think that wizard came from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it did indeed. And Peter scene. Dinklage. God, that Bring was back. brutal, man. Bring that him was back. fucking brutal. I didn't. I honestly didn't think it was that. But that line was weird. But I didn't think that he did that badly. But of look, you no better one... leave my buddy Pete alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what I, I'm on your side, Cayman. Petey Dinky. That's side. what we call him. That's what our bug. Um, that's what bugs call him. <laughs> we we have a, a member in the, in the audience right now is really would like a, a a question answered. She says she will she will remain unnamed. She says, "Who is Destiny?" <laughs> that's um, a good. Well, question. she had a child. That grew up to make a country album, <laughs> which is great. The hit number one. <laughs> I'm really being vulnerable here. Yeah. Who's Destiny? I don't know. Who is Destiny? Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Somebody, please. Did you know? With chasing waterfalls, you'll never find out what happened next. Speaking of That's popular TLC. music people, is it? Did you know yes. there's a music video? <laughs> Uh, Paul McCartney actually did a song for Destiny. It's called Hope for the Future. No Done. Way. Really? Yeah. It's, it's now getting a what? 73. <laughs> it gets better and better. 73 after and I hear a, that. It, it's real weird. Um, wow. Yeah. I wonder what Bungie had to pay Paul McCartney to sing a song for Destiny. Yeah. And that's what why, was that's why Jim Ryan that. retired, actually, is because yeah. Paul McCartney took his salary. Wow. He was like, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I, could, Destiny One, like even from the jump, was like so straight. It was such an odd mishmash of things. Like they got Bill Nye in there. Sure. <laughs> like, wait, I'm sorry. Was they got Bill Nye, the science guy in that no, game? No, 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 no. Nye, 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 I love uh, first Destiny. Love Actually, yeah, and so many other things. But that's the Pi first Babe time. in the Babe, little piggy in a big city. Is oh, he? Is he big little city? Piggy, big city? <laughs> is Bill Nye in, in Babe? Is he? <laughs> is he? Are you okay? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to just go guess to we're gonna IMDb. have to find out. Find out. Jerica, save this podcast. What's next on your list? Um, oh God. Re <laughs> re replaced. 
Okay. Uh, it looks. I just remember seeing the trailer for this a while back, and I feel like I saw, hey, it might come out this year, and then I forgot about it again, and I still, it just still doesn't release date. But this looks like another one of those uh, indie, pixely, beautiful, side scrolling, just full of majestic art. Oh yeah, uh, this one it's really pretty. Cyberpunk esque. Mm. It it just looks if it plays as good as it looks and makes yeah. sense, and that's gonna be a work of art right there. So I just needed to come out like yeah. a few of my other games. Well, I hate to be the bear of bad news, guys, but I was incorrect. It was another old white man, James Cromwell. James Cromwell. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Less, another old that, white guy. That's better in the budget more. A yep. little bit more. Whoa. I think he's been dead for don't, years, to be honest. Don't knock James oh. Cromwell, though. He's he's a legend. He he's is. A dead, a dead legend. But no, yeah. James Cromwell's alive. I'm pretty sure he is. You know who isn't? Babe. <laughs> That's true. Rest in that peace to a king. Uh, next up, Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Uh, Jerrica, in case you don't know, you can drop that now that that oh, is Oh, shit. Being, Let me do it. Damn. I had no idea. Yeah. I'm um, doing that right now. Jordan, do you remember off the top of your head what the, well, like we get a certain number of games that we can drop, but if they are pushed to a different year, like they don't count. Like you can drop as many as are pushed out of this year officially. Is that correct? Am I remembering correctly? Correct. Yeah. As if, if the game, if, it, if the release date changes to not be this year and it was not counterpicked, there is no limit. Oh, uh, I thought it was exist. only the ones in your first draft. Or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you know, I think it's anything that you pick up as long as oh, okay. it ends okay. up being pushed to next year. Like, so two, I picked up two games that I've now since dropped. If I was patient and waited to later in the year, I probably could have dropped them for free, but I didn't want to wait. So I dropped them. And so I, I can only drop three more games the rest of the year now because of that. Do you even have any money left at this point, Patrick? Yeah, I got like anything? 20 bucks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And what about the draft though? Uh, uh, about five. <laughs> My wife has left me. <laughs> it's Rose, about no! time. Now I can swoop in. Uh, and then last on your list, Jerrica. Rise of the Ronin. Yeah. I don't play those games either, Team Ninja. Uh, but I, I know there people like playing them. So I figured that's some mm. safe points. I was surprised that that one went as low as it did because I feel like I've heard mostly positive oh feedback. But I mean, you know, not yeah. game of the year, but like I would have expected like an 80. So you well, feel more I points. mean considering how well both neo and neo yeah. 2 performed i kind of assumed that it was going to it was going to do well too yeah. but after watching some like some extended plays of it i can 100% understand why it's gotcha. a solid it's, it's a so, it looks like a solid 7 out of 10 game which for me that's totally fine i love 7 out of 10 games yeah, but for not sure. for fantasy sure. fuck you guys <laughs> <laughs> Nine yeah, I, know that, uh, I know Patrick and I discussed it during the um, state of play reactions. Like, there is some straight up jank, even in like the That's state of, state of play yeah. trailer. Like, you just see people zipping back and forth, like it's <laughs> Benny Hill. Like, what is happening in this? Okay, but that's Benny Hill's fun. <laughs> yeah, but not, not as fun as Benny my... Hanna, but still fun. <laughs> you make a great mouth. point. <laughs> Your <laughs> word association is. You make okay. a great point. So so far, Q one, Jerrica. I can't think straight with 12 points, but so much potential still on the board. We so got, much what, potential. What, so 10, much. 10 games that aren't out yet? Something like that? Yeah. Eight, eight unreleased, two up in slots. The world's your oyster, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. this this bull needs to get out of her pen. Needs to, unless the needs cage. to get out and be gay. Maul came in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm thinking on the phrasing here, is, are there female bulls? Yeah, I always get confused with this because I'm like, are they cows? But that's not how it works, right? I think it is. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I would be really vulnerable honestly, right now. I don't. I, I don't know. No, honestly, um, I, I feel like I looked at this within the past few months, and it's Jordan, you're from Ken, you're from Kentucky. You should know about livestock. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that's I don't know why you're laughing, Kayla. You're from is it Alabama. A, is, no it a, <laughs> is it a which is worse? Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, it's like. Heifer. Because there's there's like heifers and cows and bulls and it's like there's weird overlap between some of them and all of them. I don't I don't understand it. I love I love. Sorry, this. Um, sorry, Kevin. No, I, it does. A very quick Wikipedia search does seem to suggest oh. the bull is male only. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I, I knew that much, but I, I I can't remember like if 
like heifer is always female. I can't remember if cow is also <laughs> supposed to be always female or if cow can also just be the generic term for like mm, the both of them. You know. Stream demonetized. You for, come to uh, spotlight cheers. games from the spotlight <laughs> and the games and the talk about cows. Yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. We're, this spotlight is like the latest and greatest in livestock issues. <laughs> this, this is, is going to be our nice next podcast, podcast that we're going to um, be. Let's like, uh, kick it over to the science a. man himself, Jordan, the science man, uh, aka. The son of a glitch that has 36 mm. points so far. Let's let's talk through your team, Jordan. Let's talk through it. Um, so obviously <clears throat> audience, <clears throat> listen closely. Don't cry. Sinua's saga. Mm. Mm. Not not it's not Sinua. Mm. Huh? It's Sinua. Really? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I've been saying Sinua like that. Sinua? Come on, I brother. Under, listen, I understand. It looks like it will be, but it ain't. You know. Look, if I want to make that you liquid, God damn it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other day, oh, my game's way down. Um, blessing out of Yo-Yo Jr. Love the man. But um, I had to listen to him spend like 10 or 15 minutes saying, Sanua, Sanua, Sanua. And I wanted to just like bang my head on the car window. But anyway, um, that comes yeah, out Jordan next month. This track on Blessing Junior. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice friend. He's, he's great. <laughs> I mean, punching up. Not if We're he's pronouncing it like now, that. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> there goes a worse. chance of ever getting him on the we, show. We I all know. have we all have our, you know, our words we pronounce strangely. It's fine. Um, I that's a strong contender for my game of the year. I'm anticipating it to be. Um but again, we'll, we'll see. It's got a, another month and some change before it comes yeah. out. I hate that um, it's slot to 30 FPS on Xbox. I guess I'm going to be playing it on the PC. Mm. Oh, oh, is, it, is the frame rate higher on PC? Are you going to squeeze it in between Supposedly. your taxes and your Excel spreadsheets over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I play nerd. indie games on this thing and things that don't have high frame rates. Which makes me mad. I I once saw this Reddit post where this guy was like, if if a game is on over a hundred FPS, I literally will throw up on myself. And I was like, <laughs> I was like no, I'm not that bad. I see the six year high. Here's you know the thing: what I'm saying? human <laughs> eyes can't <laughs> register like anything above eighty FPS. So like, just yeah. get the fuck out. <laughs> just get out, yeah, PC people. Hey, just maybe get that out. maybe that person's not human. I'm excited <laughs> for this. <AI. laughs> Yeah, pick number two went to the new Prince of Persia game, which um, I actually I did pick up. I did play. It was a blast. Um, My girlfriend then... just platinum that game. Hell oh, yeah. nice. That Finished is... it yesterday. That is an accomplishment because She's there are some. Pretty oh, insane. Yeah. 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 It yeah some hard of those spot. challenges. I don't, I'm not going for it. <laughs> nah. Um, I also picked with my heart for uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which I completely stand by. I adore this game. Um, I picked that one up, too. Um, that's probably at this moment my game of the year so far, because um, it's just it's just such a joy to play. Mm. We love joy. Um, mm. we do. Um, then we have Metro Prime 4, which is obviously coming out this year and will obviously get me like 300 points. So we'll suck see. it, Cayman. We'll um, and he will. You'll, You'll be out of the top spot. Oh um, boy, are you? You're in for a rude awakening, boss. Uh, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tales of Kenzera, uh, that's coming out in another just another yeah couple of weeks, and mm -hmm. was recently announced to be coming to PlayStation Plus, like the mid tier. So it's uh, it's awesome. Hey, nice. Yeah. yeah um, Animal well, also not out yet, but also coming out. I think May 9th, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes. Um, Jerica, how was that? Did you get? I know you said you like. 10 minutes right yeah it was good it was a good time uh yeah. it's very just you know a little artsy you have no weapons i think that's cool so just blobbing around we'll see how fun that is for longer than 10 minutes <laughs> you just Girl. you just explain my entire life <laughs> blobbing around <laughs> blobbing, blobbing around, around man yeah. you got some firecrackers fire blobbing two minutes at a time <laughs> <laughs> been doing, I've been doing really well at I'm blobbing around for 33 <laughs> years. What would you rate that uh, uh, out of 100? My experience? <laughs> uh, six out of 10. Okay. Screaming, uh, I hope you go listen back to at least that one phrase because it was about 70% gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, let me tell you, there's not a single good episode of Spotlight Games where I don't gibberish That's something. True. You're, you're my gibberish king. You're right. Mm. You don't call me the dumpster boy for nothing, brother. <laughs> That's right, brother. <laughs> then um, I also picked up, I think, my last one of the... Um, oh, no, sorry. Alan Wake 2, um, the DLC coming out. I think it's 
scheduled for spring, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Let's see. I haven't really heard anything about that, honestly, for a bit. But uh, the base yeah, game. I'm nervous obviously. that they've not said anything yet. Mm. Yeah, maybe they have, and I just forgot. Um, the last thing they've said was in October, and they said late spring 2024. So mm, solid, solid update. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously the base game did it excellently um it was excellent um check that out if you haven't already of course they didn't bother putting in the settings to turn down the jump scare bullshit until <laughs> after i already finished it so i needed to you know just invest in haynes for a bit but it's fine we made it it's <laughs> fine um i think my last pick for the initial draft was was it that or metaphor Repentasio? i, I think it was remember. alan wake okay Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds right, actually. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so Metaphor Refantasio, if people that don't know, is coming from the same people that did Persona 3, 4, and 5, I believe. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those yeah, games all really scored. Cool. Yeah. Just I don't know if I'm going to play year. it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've never gotten too deep into that franchise at all. Um, I respect it for what it's doing. I just haven't gotten deep in it myself. So um, looking to get some high points of that one. Well, let me tell you, there bud. Um, Persona Three Reloaded. You, I think, right now you can get on Target. You can get uh, the PS4 version for like nineteen bucks. So Ooh, just throwing that out dang, there for nice. you and to anyone else listening that wants to give it a shot, doesn't mind having maybe a slightly lower quality visual fidelity version. Also, I still have on Game Pass. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I have this thing where, like, if I know from the jump, at least in the past couple of years, if I know from the jump that a game is going to be like a minimum of a hundred hours, I, I don't even bother. Mm. That went Same. for I can't. Yeah, that's like, why Baldur's, you Baldur's Gate you three. I'm sorry, like I'm sure it's amazing. I've seen people streaming it all the time. Like it's, uh, I can't. So can't what you're it. saying well, is, that, hundred hour games are a form of birth control. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. It, 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 so I guess the, the implication here is that you don't do that because you have kids. Jordan is the implication that came is making. Would you agree with that? Do you just not have the time or do you just not like big games? I don't mind. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I guess, I guess he's on the right track. Cause yeah, it's my time is limited. Yeah. So if I'm going to be investing in something, I don't want it to like, if I end up, if I end up playing a hundred hours, like I did with tales of rise, cool that will spread out over like you know a year and a half with For sure several games in between but i don't know it's no just, that makes sense that's that's, that's just mm -hmm. my own little weird hang up i do Fair. not have children but my brain is mentally ill and i do have the adhd and my brain cannot mm. for 100 hours be what? like in one game <laughs> we're talking about long games oh yeah uh, Cheers and, and, to mental uh, illness. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, however, I can tell you that I've put 100 plus hours into Stardew Valley, which is different. It's different. It's different. It's not the same. <laughs> totally different. It's not the same. It's different. But yeah, over time, I can, I can probably sing that much just like over a long period of time. I um I also picked up Judas after the draft um mm. after that second trailer mm. dropped. And I mean, the more we talk about it, the more... um convinced it's probably not this year but mm, man do i want it to be this year yeah mm. it looks so good it might be it might be i thought i got a release date i thought it did they've, they, they've no always said um <laughs> they've always said by march 2025 oh. but they never actually said like it's gonna be march or it's gonna be december but oops, it's it. now, yeah it's it's confusing the way that they've talked about yeah. it um based on all the preview coverage from last week or two weeks ago whenever that was i will be shocked if that comes out by the end of this year yeah yeah. But how hype does that make you? Oh my god, I want for it. the game. I'm, oh my god, um, I don't know. I have this. I have this like thought process where I'm like, depending on what ends up coming out of like how much AI is involved in this game, could drastically change mm. the score of this game. Like Maybe. if it comes out that like this game is like heavily influenced with AI, I could see this game scoring like like people actively mm -hmm. scoring it low just because of that. On the That's other true. hand, I could also see that it being scored really high if it doesn't have that either. So, That's true. which I think, I mean, I, I don't think you're wrong. I think that that would be ignorant because of how the AI would be used. Because obviously, AI has been in video games for ever. Yeah, like mm. it, <clears throat> like enemy behavior and Halo, 
that's AI. Enemy behavior in other games is, you know, like there's there's always been some form of AI in games. But yeah, obviously there's a hot button issue. Um, I'm definitely firmly like, I don't know, pay writers, pay actors to do the things. Don't just make computers do it because that's ridiculous. Um, but like, so I, I think that if if I'm catching on correctly from the previews, if AI is is incorporated in any sort of like significant way, it would be because of the building blocks that the programmers and like the, you know, Ken Levine and all, and all the team have like set in place for the AI to work with. Not that like it's just creating out of nothing. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense? yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it does. No, yeah. because even like procedural generation, like, you know, people, people scored Starfield low because it, wasn't fun, not because sure. it was procedurally generated. So, yeah. I mean, I think those two things were a little hand in hand, but I, I hear your point. <laughs> that is accurate. Yeah. Um, not pictured on this screen is um, Earthblade. I spent my budget to mm. pick it up. And then like a month later, they were like, not this year. And I was like, thanks, Maddie. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that was one. I, uh, I'm glad that you had bid more than me because I, I <laughs> had gone for Earthblade but didn't get it. Yeah, because um, so uh, for people that don't know, that's from the same creators behind Celeste. It's like um, mm. it looks like to be more more like Zelda inspired type of you know like mm -hmm. actual combat, not just platforming and stuff. So um, definitely looking forward to that. Why does my gain keep going down on my microphone? That's for me to worry about. Yeah, it's, um, it's not changing on our end. Okay, that's good. Um, next. Um, Patrick, I'll go ahead and just throw in our our DMs into this conversation. Mm. I, I mean, I'm consenting. I'm a consenting yeah. adult. I love it <laughs> because when I was on the actually these both happened in that state of play episode that I was featured in while Cayman was dying in a ditch somewhere. I guess I don't know. Um, Sounds about right. Yeah, you and I talked about. It, I was like, oh, hell divers, who cares? And then it's amazing. I've had like forty plus hours into that game. And then I was like, Unicorn Overlord, that's a stupid name. Look at this stupid art style. This is stupid. 46 hours into that game. <laughs> so I was so, I was so fucking pissed off, too, because I literally went on and you had like you had just got it. Like right as I was because I didn't realize it was Vanillaware who was yep. doing it, who did Dragon's Crown, which did like scored stupidly well. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is like a slam dunk pick and then you just picked it up and i was like that son of a bitch that's yeah you got me i, I swear i picked me. it up like son of a bitch. the previews that started coming out they were saying it was good and i was like okay it looks like vanilla where games usually do well and then there was a demo and i was like damn it this is actually really fun to play <laughs> and so I, I picked it up just in time and um yep scored well and i'm i'm having a having a blast resenting myself for <laughs> having to say the title of it but man it's for fun. so many reasons yeah. but <laughs> so are there they, they are, in the game though that's my question it's like part of the lore Sound it out. So, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> the unicorn animal. lore yeah Over like lore nice so like they're it. i'm gonna i'm gonna go into limb and say yes well, it's like, so I think that the, uh, again, I don't know if it's like their, I don't know if you want to call it like a creation myth, if you want to call it just like the, you know, backstory of like the history of the continent or, but there's like this, you know, tale of like the unicorn and the maiden and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So like, there's like symbology of unicorns pretty frequent. And there's like, even in one of the trailers, you know, like one of the first things you get is like the ring of the unicorn and it has magical properties um as one would expect can i just say shout out to unicorn symbology can we just take a moment to appreciate <laughs> some <bro>. unicorn symbology <laughs> for once on this podcast as a big fan of lisa frank yes <laughs> thank you God, finally we're fucking talking about we stand lisa frank. she's actually the final boss spoiler alert <laughs> good i'm buying this game tonight if that's true so basically what i'm hearing is this is a true jrpg where you get to kill god at the end Nice. Literally. <laughs> a lot of people saying Lisa Frank is God. So been saying you already here first, nice. folks. They've yeah. never been seen in the same room, is all exactly. I'm saying. Exactly. That One time exactly. I got Lisa Frank confused with Anne Frank and I felt like such an asshole. Oh, it no. was an honest accident. <laughs> Please tell me you were in Germany just walking around being like no. this house is really boring. There's no zebras anywhere here. 
my, my wife you? sent me a TikTok the other day. It was a girl <laughs> did, like showing something. She's like, uh, I, I think it was like an outfit. She's like, oh, it's giving Anne Frank. And then it cuts to her in like her yeah. room <laughs> later. And she's oh like, God. oh, no. and like, oh my God, I realized that I misspoke and I meant yeah. to say Lisa. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. That's the that same, yeah, yes, same, situ- same situation. It was an accident, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the funniest jokes in Arrested Development is when who cares about the context, but Jason, Jason Bateman says, I think that George Michael's hiding Anne in the attic. And Lindsay goes from who? The Nazis? Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah. oh man. Rest of the always banging. <laughs> we may have to cut this entire like past minute and a half. Patrick's yeah. cut. Patrick's cut worse. Believe me. Uh, I've said some <laughs> stuff before, guys. You will not want to hear. And last on the list. <laughs> yes. Or is that? Uh, the, 16, the Rising Tide. The dance. Rising Tide. I'm very excited. Um, Leviathan making its appearance um it was mysteriously missing from the base game mm. um and i won't say no to more final fantasy 16 more ben star in my ears mm. what Joshua. was the last final Joshua. fantasy 16 dlc um scored like was that or is this i all... believe so um yeah, i believe it was scored it, it didn't do like astronomical but it did well i think it got like maybe low 80s okay um i enjoyed it um had a couple little nitpicks but it was it was fun sure. um sure, 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 and this, sure. that that was um from the jump, they were saying that that, that this upcoming one was a lot more story focused than the previous one, even though it it did still build up the world some more, but this one is going to be like a lot more um, story focused. Obviously with a new um, icon, there's new powers involved. So, excuse me, sorry. Um, It should be um, more in depth and uh, more Joshua. Joshua. Uh, And then your counterpick, you're the only one in the league that has has an active counterpick. And by active, I mean a score has happened. Banishers Ghost of New Eden. Not a good one, but it happened. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. So remember, remember when I said during that draft, I was like, this might come around to bite me. It came, brother. It came, (laughs) brother. brother. (laughs) Let's go. Which I think is a great segue into Kayla's list of games because that was on Kayla's team. It was in Titanfall 3 or bust. It was. Kayla, you know what? take it away. We Thank you so much, Patrick. I'm yeah. so happy to be here today and to slightly rub it in that my game that was counterpick. You may see two locks on the screen. One of them I will not take any credit for because the one and only Dumpster Boy made this pick for me. True, that's true. If you may remember, when this from- game scores, when this game <laughs> fucking scores ludicrously high, you're welcome. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Previously you, on JK, you didn't need PKJ. it. Clearly, it's someone gonna hurt. This. Someone clipped right, this when this shit gets okay. locked, and or this shit hurt. comes out. It's like a solid eighty nine. I love that. That's gonna uh, seventy three. Lock it. it. And you may be asking why, Kayla, did you need somebody to help you? Because none of my games exist in Fantasy Critic. Don't know. Flashback. That's so Raven. Psychic Vision. Go back to me, <laughs> to me trying to pick every indie farm game that existed and none of them showed up. Look, we're DTF, but Open Critic is not DTF. Do you know what will show up, though? Hopefully this year, Star Wars Outlaws. Please give me that. Give me that good, good Star Wars outlaw. Is there is some yeah. news coming soon, Ubisoft? right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. okay. We yeah. should be getting a release date tomorrow, I would think. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. And Next year. I, <laughs> I hope not. We'll know, you know. We'll know soon. We've seen some things. I think it comes out holiday this year. That's my mm-hmm. prediction. It probably does, holiday. honestly. I think so. Will it score well? I what think do we so. What do we think? I think so. I, based on, you know, we only have the one trailer. I think tomorrow will be very enlightening, but... Um, it looks really good, and I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I, I don't know that it's going to reach like the like high 90s by any means, but I would, if I were to guess right now without having seen the trailer tomorrow, I would think high 80s for Outlaws mm-hmm. personally. S- someone remind I, me again. Who's the dev behind this? Is uh, it Ubisoft? It, it, yeah, it's Ubisoft. It I don't know which team. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm glad. Yeah. Um. So next Ubisoft up, we got. Paul. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm very hopeful. Positively. Up. Looking at it, hoping everything it. goes great. I think it comes out holiday. We'll see. Um, that's a positive outlook. So, Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. You know, at the time when I picked this, I it was kind of a heart pick. It looked very interesting to me. Um, anything supernatural. Also, I love Don't Nod. So, I was, you know, really didn't realize how much of a potentially risky pick this could be because it is very different than what they've done before. Oh, um, it's uh, it's massive. Heavy. 
It, it's uh oh sorry we're it, on to the next game sorry massive no, no, no. <laughs> star wars because <laughs> i was really curious i was like ooh, no, I, yeah. sorry i didn't mean to derail so this. massive is this the studio <laughs> that did the division one and two yeah, obviously yeah. they just did avatar frontiers of pandora but outlaws looks a... more division than yeah exactly avatar. yeah well, you so, sign me up because yeah. i die on the hill the division two i didn't really know that so it makes me feel give me a good. blue space kitties or give me nothing <laughs> no don't it's fine it's fine i actually saw like two weeks after release for avatar pandora was like it's on sale now for 25 99 it was like jesus <laughs> we will pay you to take this from us <laughs> oh i feel bad for them but also not really anyways uh yeah so i didn't i wasn't aware of how risky this was we talked about in our last episode like uh it's a very different but i'm really enjoying it i'm actively playing this right now i think i've probably put like 10 hours into it i think it's like 25 30 um really good would recommend I really want to play Don't. it. It's it's, it's on good. my list. Yeah. Think choice based ghost hunter cool duo. You know what I mean? Cool. Uh then we have Mario versus Donkey Kong remake, which I knew absolutely nothing about. Sure. Um, but in the same vein as Jerica, I was like Nintendo, it's gotta be doing something, you know. Uh unfortunately, we only squeezed out seven points from this one, but that's okay. You know, we'll that's take it. Did anybody something. play this or the original? Mm -hmm. I know I I didn't play either. I um okay. I downloaded the demo but never got around to playing it. Gotcha, gotcha. I know nothing about it. Uh now one that I'm really glad we actually I it looks like we got a release date on this one according to Fantasy Critic, but I could be wrong, so maybe somebody fact check me. Uh hashtag blood, which, which I was I happy to. I was happy to introduce everybody to mm -hmm. in this uh call. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't play the demo. I know that they came out with a demo. Uh, I have not played it yet. I was super hyped for it, and I haven't played. Was it, it um stream next or Steam Next Fest? It was yes. Steam Next okay. Fest. Yeah. Yes. Um, it it was good. I'm really excited about this game. I played about 20 minutes of it, and I was like, I'm stopping because yeah, I just want the full thing. Think Cartoon Network, but with uh, violence. Lots of it. Lots yeah. of violence. Um, I love the art style. I think it's very unique, and I'm I'm sold. Uh, it says that it comes out on June 18th, yeah. which I think this will score well. I don't know about you guys, but I think that I, I think see. it's very intriguing. So we'll see. Now, one that um, I don't think is going to go super well, uh, if it even is rated, because this one's interesting. Nightingale. Um, it looked right up my alley. It's trying to do a lot. It's open world. It's crafting. It's uh, magic. It's different world hopping like survival the survival like think arc kind of games but more magical um it's in early access right now mm -hmm. um i don't know what the plan is as far as full release i don't think there is a full plan um i haven't played the early access yet but it, it still looks very intriguing i think if it if it pulls off what it's trying to do i think i've read some reviews saying it's it's a little clunky and a little buggy I was a bit surprised that this one doesn't have a score, actually. Yeah, yeah I think that's about that, honestly. And it, 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 even though it's in early access, like it got early access reviews, and yeah. they look pretty well. Okay. Um, but okay. like, I, I, yeah, I'm surprised that Nightingale is is coming up empty here. So I would think that this is probably one that you end up dropping at some point because if it's yeah, yeah. Cool now I don't know that it will. It is strange because uh, it did technically it went into early access in February, so I don't know. We'll see, but. I think we'll decide. Uh, yeah, real quick interjection. Well. We got Cashcrow in the in the chat. Uh, thanks for joining us, Ca uh, Cashcrow. Cashcrow says, "In my honest opinion, Power did it better. Nightingale has overbloated mechanics and tends to overwhelm players. And yes, it is very buggy. I only played a few okay. hours, so I I didn't have a lot of time with it. Um, mm -hmm. But I did hear that people were having bug problems with it. Yeah, I haven't um, picked it up yet for that reason. But I think I still will, just because I feel like you know it's on my list. I got at yeah, least yeah. I got at least try it out. Uh, Little Kitty Big City, as we spoke earlier, was a phone a friend, phone a friend, uh, pick. Thank you, Cayman. Hopefully, we pull, we pull this one. <laughs> You're Thank uh, you, maybe very well. Make welcome. you regret it. Let's see. Uh, next up, we have Fantastic Haven. This is the beginning of my uh, after the fact picks. This, let me, let me sell you on this in just a few. Yeah, minutes, okay? I, I don't think I, I've heard of this one. Let me just let me set the scene. Let's think Zoo Tycoon Darn. meets Pokemon. Whoa. Okay. okay. Let's just, you know, city builder management, but with creatures. Thank you for showing it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it does come out. It's an indie game. Uh, it does exist. 
It does exist. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw I think I saw this one um advertised on like cozy game TikTok, which I'm all over. Um <laughs> comparing it to uh like Pokemon meets Zoo Tycoon. Look at that. How could you not want to play this? Look at that guy. <laughs> Adorable. I, I mean uh, <laughs> wait, Discover Land left to ruin? Is that what it says? Yeah, well, oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna it was fix left the world. in the past since it was left. We're gonna fix the uh, world, so, Kayla. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta fix it, you gotta craft, you gotta do some magic, but also so you're this collecting Spider-Man in this? I love it. I love a good creature collector. Yes, yes, good point. Um, so that's really all I have to say about that one. I have no idea who's making it. I have no idea if it has a release date. Um, I saw a cute game and I said yes, put it yeah. on the list. Put yeah, it so on is it the like, list. Um, is it like not very combat focused? Because I know obviously Power World has like the Pokemon S things, but it's like combat and no. City, this one like... seems more think like a uh, strategy, like okay, cool. Uh, cool that management type game. Um, and yes, I did play a lot of Power World, and I I gave up. Um, eventually, I was like, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't get past the bugginess. Sure, um, I feel like everybody was on it for like two weeks, and then everybody stopped after. It two. was very popular there for a minute, and I had a good time while I was there. Uh, then we have Little Nightmares 3. Can't wait for this one. Very excited. Hopefully it's coming out. Don't have a release date for this one either. Um, I actually, I loved the first game. I actually haven't played the second game. Um, Reviews say the think? second one was better, according okay, okay. to Open Crew. I loved the first one. Yeah. So. Um, but the, I, I didn't the play consensus. the second one. Myself. The consensus is two is the better of the games. Then three has to be the best. Give me exactly. the points. Come on. Eat Let's go. Uh, next up we have my... Only one of my three games that have come out. Um, I think I picked this one up right before release because I also saw something about it that looked very intriguing. Pacific Drive. <laughs> Let me put you onto that. Uh, that is, have you guys seen anything about this one? Mm, I've heard bit. it's good. And I think, <laughs> is Caitlin Deaver in it? Caitlin Dever? I, I still don't know how to say her last I name. I think so. I think I, Soon I'm to be Abby in the last sure. one. Let's go. Uh, this one, you drive around a car and you are surviving zombies i believe is i think it says supernatural forces I think you might I be confusing zombies. the game patrick i am i am <laughs> what game is, what game am i thinking of uh patrick oh uh, what was the name of it i was it on board i was out. like yeah <laughs> open roads open road oh, pacific drive open roads game. come it's on the same. i was it's like close. wait is she in this too and i was like no driving cars you know so i've survey heard says survey so you, says diver Deeper. 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 Yeah. Um, so Deeper. I've heard Pacific Drive is just there's apparently like a very steep learning curve to it and the game mm -hmm. can be just like brutally difficult and that's been mm -hmm. to me that's like the, the one turn off where it's like yeah I don't know if I want to I don't want I don't know if I want to do that I don't know sure. if I want to be hard stuff Brilliant. I could Point definitely you know, see that which speaking to open roads, I was wondering what it reviewed on because I I picked that Not last great. year. I don't think. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see it. But That's Pacific like Drive. Of, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Kayla. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry. <laughs> no, different no, driving open situations. Roads, open roads is supposed to be like a really like more narrative driven like no pun it's intended. Like daughter uh, and mother road yeah. trip, learning about the family. A good thing yeah. you didn't pick that game because it only has a 71 on open. Oh, that's mm -hmm. disappointing. Yeah. I really want to play sad. that. Yeah, Cayman said steep curve and turn. Mm. So we're just all about the car. Yeah. Car yeah, unicorn, yeah. unicorn symbology and car talk. Mm. Let's go. I will say I normally do? I normally don't like games where you drive cars. I'm usually bad at driving the car. So but it looks like there's maybe a little bit outside of the car. So we'll see. I am gonna actually play this one and it did it scored decent. I mean I yeah. got a you got an 80, so we'll see. Yeah. Um Last but not least on my list, this is a new edition. Yeah, um, and it, one I've not heard of. Yeah, so this I'm not surprised that you haven't heard of Who it. are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm a fiend for the cozy farm sims. Look at this. Whoa. Look oh, at on, it. Okay. Yeah. It's a farm. And game it's being with developed portals. by someone called Chonky Leaf. Bro. 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 Which Let's is Chonky it, Loaf. It's me. Man, Even I can't read can I? <laughs> Look at it. I'm the developer. <laughs> got a chonky right, loaf, chonky loaf. Blob over here. Let's go. Jerica, chonky loaf, jerk at you. <laughs> it's me. 
Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the game that came out a few years ago that I really liked. The, that, Stardew Valley. It was a different cut. Well, absolutely. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of that game with the grapes, the little grapes on Switch. What is that game called? Were they also mm, little grapes on Switch game? Let's see. I'm We're making find shit up again. Really <laughs> weird Google images, Patrick. <laughs> You're gonna, go, you're gonna about to go down that uh, rabbit hole you were not prepared. Save search for. on, please. Uh, it's a good thing because there are some titties happening in this search, and I'm not. I, I want to see what do you, what did you search? Uh, I, I did grapes on Switch game. What is it? Uh, grapes on Switch game. There's a little. There's some anime titties happening. Good. That, it's not an anime titty game. I will. Say. Are you not, sure? Oh, yeah. that. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. And we're not. You know, this it's is isn't computer not titty. Work. Yeah. <laughs> but Everholm does not have computer titties, but it does have wholesome farming content. Garden story with portals. Garden story. Yes. Um, that's it. That's uh, good. that was a great game. I digress. Uh, Everholm. You know, I had to. Technically, this is the only actual farming game on this list, and so I could not go without having that on there. Sure. Um, Everhome, I respect it. You got portals, you got mysterious lands, you got farming. What else could you need? My what counter pick, could it could be a disaster, but well, I don't think it will be. It could be, but then I see Nightingale being in early access, not getting scores. So Hades 2, I, another game of mine that has been counterpicked. But if Nightingale's not scoring... I don't know that Hades 2 is going to score either because that's also yeah, going to be fair. early access this year. So we'll see. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a scoring, like a like a threshold for amount of scores before they put it up on there. I'm not sure how it works that, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Um, well, that brings us trouble. to the final team, Herald's Darkness, which is last and least. Oh, last and it. least. Uh, you have no space for any additional games. I know. I, it stresses me out. So I... I have currently, yeah, I've maxed out my team. I have added what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. What so have you been far. doing all day, Patrick? Uh, well, these have all nine souls Literally I did add this. on Saturday. But you have a job. I uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Uh, no, so I've only had one game come out so far. There's only three reload, but it did well. It did 18. If I can keep on an 18 point average for all these games, I could give Cayman a run for his money. Problem is, that's not going to happen. Uh, so I started with Silent Hill 2 remake. Not looking good, folks. No, it's not. This is not looking good. Uh, it does seem like it'll come this year. I don't know that it's going to be pick one worthy for me. I think so do you I want that. <laughs> I think I I think I swung and a missed on that one, but we'll see. Uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song also mm -hmm. not out, but looking good though. Things are starting to happen. We mm -hmm. there's some movement. There's some movement on the internet on the Silk Song. Yeah, uh, we've had. Are you, are, you, are you churning, Kayla? Is that yes. That's going on? Okay. Yeah. That was Make my butter churning. Yeah. My cauldron <laughs> brewing. <laughs> we churning and burning, brother. Ooh, Barson, brother. DTF. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And then, so Hades 2 and Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater are the, my two games that have been counterpicked. And I'm not... If Hades 2 comes out and gets scores, I think that is a solid, like, 93, mm. at least. Right, I think. Uh, unless they really fucked it up somehow. I feel like that's going to be a really high-scoring game. I just... But now I'm, I'm concerned that it's not going to score because of the early access of it all. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, a game I was once confident in, no longer confident in. Um, I, I hope that we hear about it soon, but I feel like at this point, if we're in April and we've not even gotten, like, a release window in 2024... I'm thinking we're getting it in 2024. I just think don't so? think it's going to be good. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I look. I love you. You know that, but I also, do know that. I and hope I, you lose this, and Aww. I can get at least one win in the year twenty twenty four. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Uh, I if, love you, mean it. Um, but we'll see. I I still think it could be good. Uh, but I just I'm more concerned that it doesn't come out this year than it being bad personally. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like that. I, I would be surprised if it's lower than an eighty personally. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, next up, I think on my game list that is actually coming out is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake, which is slated to come out in May. So I, solid. I so feel good about that one. I feel like that's going to yeah. be like a 15 pointer, probably. Sure. Maybe an more. easy, easy 85. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, like yeah, I already that said, that could be a 90. That could be a 90. Like, it could. I hope would so. Would not be surprised. I hope so. Yeah. 
Um, and then yeah, Persona 3 Reload already came out with an 18. I haven't played it yet because I I played Persona 3 for the first time like six months ago. Uh, I was playing it when it was announced that this was coming. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm bad timing on my part. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was all of the games that I drafted. Everything else I've since added. Um, there are also two games here not listed, which I've added and since dropped, which were Mario Kart 9 and <laughs> <laughs> and the 3D Mario unannounced sequel. I really hoped, I believed the rumors that Switch 2 was coming this year. And that it would launch with those two games. Because if, man, can we pull over for just a second and live in a reality Skirt. in which the Switch 2 does come out in the fall and those two games come out? Cayman's toast. I got like a 98 <laughs> from the Mario 3D sequel and like a 95 from Mario Kart 9. I mean, come on. You know, we I love li- I love living in hypotheticals. Me too. <laughs> That's all they are, though. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Me uh, too. So no, my, the first game that I added after the draft, Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, which is, I don't know that it's the last piece of DLC for Fantasy XIV, but it's the next one. Um, but should be, no. should be pretty good. I have good. a question. Yes. How many, somebody give me the numbers on how many Final Fantasy games are supposed to come out this year? <laughs> Game or DLC or remake or, okay, or well, expansion? Or I, at what? least three i think <laughs> i believe that dawn trail is the final piece to come okay. out i think um so many. dude let's be so, honest we're gonna get a like a we're gonna get like one of them crystal chronicles hd remaster kingdom hearts four drop probably <laughs> in, probably. in like december i love that it's y'all awesome. are getting fed though. on the 3ds it'll be coming out exclusively on the 3ds oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this was completely a brain pick. I don't give a shit about Final Fantasy XIV. I just know that the game is very beloved. And uh, sure. friend of the show, Jacob Askren, uh, he helped me build this PC that I'm. Oh, so on. you were you're cheating, is what we're hearing. You, <laughs> no, you, are you Insider. cheating? No, 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 no. Uh, I certainly didn't cheat. Um, I certainly did not cheat at all. Came in, uh, but he says that this is supposed to be really good. So I was like, if Jacob Askren says it's going to be good, I believe the man. Uh, so I picked that up. And then also Rise of the Golden Idol, which is a sequel to Curse of the Golden Idol, if I'm not mistaken, which was a, a PC like puzzly adventure game from a few years ago mm-hmm. that scored like a 95 on Open Critic. So I was like, Jeez. maybe the sequel will do really well. Who knows? Um, total dart throw of a pick there. Um, the next two, I'm not super thrilled about, but I'm hopeful. Uh, mm-hmm. Avowed and Indiana Jones in the Great Circle. I picked both of these up after the Xbox developer underscore direct from a few weeks or months ago uh, because I was impressed by both of these games. Avowed definitely coming this year. They claim Indiana Jones is coming this year. Really? I, See, I would have thought it was going to be the flip. I don't know. I, like, I feel like we saw more with Indiana Jones than we did with Avowed. Yeah, and well, we like, saw a lot of gameplay of Avowed, at least. Mm. See, I feel yeah, like... Avowed, I feel like, has the potential to score really well where I mm-hmm. see Indiana Jones as like a solid eight. Um, like I'm, I'm seeing now. What I that, what just that don't know. Because if you think about the last two games for Machine Games, they didn't score super well. Did they not? Um, the, the, the last full games, the, or are you talking DLC? We're talking full the games. The DLCs were the ones that were pretty meh, I think. So you had Wolfenstein did really well. Then Wolfenstein 2 didn't do as well. And then I want to say the still the third Wolfenstein game with the two, the BJ Blazkowicz's two daughters, which name is escaping me. New Order, I think, was Wolfenstein. Oh, New yeah. Right. That was the yeah. first one. Oh, it was whatever. Five. It wasn't that good. I remember playing play New Blood bit. or something was like New Blood. That's seven it. out of 10. So, like, I don't know. Part of me feels like it could be, but also from what I've seen, I don't know. I just don't know if I have. I don't know if it's going to land the same. Sure, Indiana yeah. Jones is a first person just seen. And I feel like with it going from like first to third person, I feel like that's going to be the jarring thing that I think people are going to complain about. Sure. I feel like if it was only third person, it would just be people saying this isn't Uncharted. Even though Uncharted was inspired by Indiana Jones to begin mm-hmm. with. Sure. But you yeah, know what I mean? Like, so, I feel like there would have been like just drawing way too many comparisons from the jump. So I, I kind of, I which is really, it's an interesting point you bring up though, because so 
Uncharted was is a ripoff of Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider is a ripoff of Indiana Jones. So we're coming full circle here. Yeah, <laughs> Indiana Jones in the called... Great Circle. Yeah, we're coming Great circle. circle. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. Um, but here, so here's You're just laying it out there. I mean. Here's my counterpoint mm-hmm. to all of that. Um, Nine Wolfenstein... Souls, <laughs> Wolfenstein That's Two, the the game, eighty seven on Open Critic, pretty good. The two DLCs, one was a 67, one was a 46. So, oh, God. so my hope Don't is go that either way. full game, full game 87, DLC 46 is my hope there. Oh my God. Uh, how, did you, how did you do that? Yeah, oh. not good. Not good. Um, but it wasn't the B team. It was like the Z team making that shit. Yeah, apparently so. And then so my last three, so Frostpunk 2, I added... I I'll be honest. I have no idea what a frost punk is, but uh, I heard good. people talking about it. The first one scored well. Uh, let's see what it what I had on Open Critic. Um, the first one got an eighty six on Open Critic. Isn't it kind of like also, Civilization in a way, but frozen? Yeah, but it's like more brutal. <laughs> Maybe um, it's on sale on PSN like all the time. So. Frostpunk is a stressful, stylish, and addictive survival management yeah. game filled with incredibly difficult choices, is what Open what? Critic says. No, that, 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 that's what I meant. Like my my buddy checked it out uh, recently, like just probably after the second one was ch- having some press, and he. Uh, it was like, yeah, one of the first things he had to decide was like, do you want to send the children back to the mines or kill this old woman? It's like, what the <laughs> both, both. I want to do both. Don't make me choose. Give me both. For 17 points on Open Critic, I'll happily do both. I will, I will gladly kill an old lady just to yeah. beat you guys at Fantasy Critic. Oh, I, I know you. Somebody clip that. Clip that, somebody, please. <laughs> um, and then my last two, uh, No Rest for the Wicked, which is being made by the people who Can't did. Um, looks so good. Uh, Ori. And Ori, yeah, the Ori series. Ori in the Blind yeah. Forest and the Will of the Wisps. A different style of game, but the initial press for this, the previews that dropped a few weeks ago were very, very, very positive. Mm. But again, this goes back to my Hades 2 dilemma and Kayla's mm. Nightingale dilemma. It's only going to be early access this year, so maybe it doesn't score. I hope it does, but it's it's an early access release at, at the start, so that might bite me in the ass, if so. Um, if it doesn't, then I will. <laughs> I know I know it, brother. Get in uh, line, and then, brother. Finally, for me, Nine Souls. This is a game that I believe, Jordan, correct me if I'm wrong, was just unveiled the other day. Um, it, it, maybe it was, maybe we'd seen it prior, but the trailer came out last week, uh, and it looks fucking so good. Like, the, I, I can't remember this. if it was like unveiled or if it was like last week was when they had like the final, like, it's coming, here's the release date kind of a trailer. But yeah, like, I we had a gentleman's agreement because I posted it to <laughs> the Spotlight Games Discord that you should join for you fun should. conversations. And Patrick DM me, he was like, "Don't you dare outbid me for this!" <laughs> oh, I was like, so, "No, I, I was like, you... no, I, I, I'm, I can't believe you brought it up in the Discord because I secretly have a bid already for this game, and I don't need Cayman's ass swinging in here Here's and trying thing. to take the game." When you said Nine Souls, I immediately thought we were this was a video game adaptation of the late twenty teens Julianne Moore thriller nine souls mm. i am disappointed that it's what are you talking not. about <laughs> just let him go <laughs> i thought this was a dark souls game when you first said it i was like no i don't want to play that it's an adaptation of will smith's seven pounds but with two more things exactly exactly you also know. i would really play good. that game that sounds real sad but like the art style is really good here um i i'm i'm hoping that this delivers but it comes out in like three or four weeks it's in may so uh i'm hoping that that i get a little little so, little extra little something something is there. it souls or souls yeah uh, souls i believe that's our resident mm. pronunciation specialist yeah Jordan. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah give him the one folks um but yeah so that's that's where i'm at and then my counter pick is baby steps which is on jericho's team and that is one of those things where i'm just like i just hope i don't go in the negative at the very least but we'll see <laughs> Who's to say? I'm rooting um, for it to be the best game of the year. <laughs> oh, I know you are. You want me to hurt. Who can never know for sure? Um, so at the moment, so to kind of recap all of that, um, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Oh, actual points are here. So came in in first with 94, mm. Jordan in second with 36, Kayla in third with 26, me in fourth with 18, and Jerrica in last with 12 points so far. So, but again, 
it, only one quarter is over and done with. What's that? No, I want to see what the projected was again. Do you mind just pulling that up? I just Actually, I think, wanna... the, I think the site just crashed. Oh, dang. Yeah. That's oh, real. Yeah, that's real hard. shame. Because I'm pretty no. sure the projected yeah. points. Yeah, site wide. Um, <laughs> here's the thing that's interesting. Okay. Oh, boo. Look at me. Projected Sad. points yeah. just shy of 150. And I have like five less games than you, Patrick. It's true. I can't, I have nothing to say to that other than you're correct. And that's our show. Thank you. <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. Hey! You're right. I'm wrong. You I'm guys like, here's the thing. Our audience watches us every single week. They watch me fail every episode. Sure. It's about time. It's about time that I won. <laughs> it's about time that you won something, brother. Um, but I'm having a blast. I don't know about y'all, about y'all, but it's fun checking in every few weeks and seeing yeah, where we're at. Absolutely. And, and it, it adds a little context to when games release uh, so it's we can a, celebrate each other. It's been a great Q1, guys. I think we could sum it up and just say that, like, Japanese developers are having an absolute fucking heyday so <laughs> far this year. That um, is true. So that makes me feel good because that just means we'll get more great JRPGs coming down the line. Hell yeah. And I will also add to that, in addition to that, um, we are, like, in the midst of a Metroidvania renaissance right now, and I am eating good in the neighborhood because at the end of last year there was worldless which couldn't tell you what the actual plot was supposed to be but it was fun and then we had prince <laughs> of persia and then um i came across it too late to actually draft it but ultros um which is really slick little trippy acid fever dream metroidvania going on um metro prime 4 again guaranteed coming out this year guaranteed mm. 104 on metacritic mm. uh, <laughs> Guaranteed. but yeah we, we are um we're we're having some some great games coming out this year hell yeah let's let's close out the show by going around the horn and saying like of of the games that are coming in the next few weeks or months what are we most excited about uh mm. jerica let's start with you mm. I'm trying to think. I yeah. mean, I'm I'm most excited for Destiny Final Shape. Yeah. I think that's the one that the next game I have time off for and I cannot wait to see how it uh you know, I just hope it brings it in in a good a good way for me and my me Guardians, too. me and my friends. The Guardians have earned it. We've been playing for a long time. I really want to kill the witness and I want that to be so satisfying. I want the last raid to be so good. I want the gear to be amazing. Uh but yeah, I, I I hope that is great. That's what I'm most looking. I'm looking for that the most. And then I guess right behind it, honestly. Um, okay, I guess a month before Hellblade. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. my pick. Is Hellblade, Hellblade too? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Cayman, what about you? Where are you at? Yeah, I think I'm just looking towards summer and getting a new NCAA football game. Cool. <laughs> like it'll be the only time I can see the University of Tennessee win a national championship ever again. And uh, you know what? I'm here for it. Uh, outside of that, <laughs> I don't think there's any other good games coming out the rest of the year. So they're all going to be so bad. This is going to just be uh, absolute dumpster fire. Just absolute the dumpster fire. Year. Year, yeah. Dumpster so. boy fire. Kayla, what about you? What's what? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm hoping that Q2 is the quarter of farm sims. You know, like I'm really just I'm hoping that indie games just. <laughs> The I'm quarter of cozy, uh, if you will. The, the cozy quarter. Um, no, actually, like as far as like what's actually slated for Q2, I'm really excited for Blood. Um, I I really want to get sure. to that and actually like give it a good shot. And I think that it has the potential to do super well and like be one of my favorite games. Um, but if I'm dreaming and I don't think this is coming out Q2, but as far as the rest of the year, what I'm most hyped for is Star Wars Outlaws. I think cool. it has the potential. To, I'm a big Star Wars fan to like be really good, um, be a great addition to the franchise. So that's what I'm looking the most forward to. Hell yeah. How about you, Jordan? Hellblade. <laughs> Two. Eight. <laughs> Hellblade. <laughs> Two. Uh, Jordan, actually, I don't believe we we punch the the hell there. Uh, I think you mispronounced that a little bit. Can we try that again, please? <laughs> hell, <laughs> yeah. I was, you were, I was really worried you're going to use another word that was similar sounding, and I was. This is not that type of podcast, Jordan. Okay, I actually don't oh, know what oh, word you're oh. referring to. Uh, I Jordan gets it. Move okay. on, Patrick. Yeah, well, what are you on. looking for? Uh, Heckblade Two for sure. I'm really excited about <laughs> Heckblade Two. Dang Sword Three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I I am 
uh, Jordan and I are aligned that I think that that could certainly be a game of the year. <laughs> Giving corporate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're aligned, folks. Uh, Let's circle back to that. Uh, but you know, I'm 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 very excited for that, and and I agree with Kayla. I'm excited about Outlaws. Uh, you know, I, you know, later in the year, but um, but yeah, for me, I am riding the Dragon's Dogma two train and the Final Fantasy seven Rebirth train until Hellblade two at the moment, because uh, that's the next big in for me, mm. folks. That's our show. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks to everyone on the panel for being here. Uh, let's one more time go around the horn, plug your socials, plug your shows, plug whatever you want to plug, as long as it is safe for work. Cayman, let's start with you. <laughs> okay, well, I don't got nothing <laughs> safe for work, buddy, but uh, you can find me at the Dumpster Boy on Twitter. Uh, also, once again, shout out, join our Discord. What Patrick doesn't realize is I'm going to start a Spotlight Games book club. Whoa. I'm reading a book. I know you could read. I love no. books. Here's the thing. No one's invited. It's just me. <laughs> it's just only me in this book club. Just spotlight books. Just uh, come join Discord, though. Seriously, though, it, come join Discord. It is an absolute riotous good time. If you want to see maybe a handful of posts about like 80s uh, horror films, you can follow me on Twitter to, to see that shit. Boom. Jordan. Nice. Yeah. Cognitive clips on threads and Instagram. That's where I'm usually on with socials, um, as well as the discords and um the youtubes okay. your your tubes have me nope oh boy uh, i said well, i said okay. safe work please Woo, kayla yeah. you're up you're getting hot in the gun. you can find call. us as a unit you can find us on jk games podcast at all socials and podcast platforms um you can also find me i do book stuff as well uh palettes and pages on instagram uh if you want book recs i do youtube as well and I think that's about it. hell yeah jerica oh you can find me on anything i think well not everything <laughs> take that back <laughs> dial that back a second actually uh jerica chew yeah also with that name i'm, I'm not a jerk and <laughs> it always sounds bad i'm not jerking at you i'm Let's not a jerk stop. to you uh, it's jerk at you like Pikachu in my name. So jerk at you. Um, Let's yeah, on, on Twitter, X, Instagram, and whatever else Hell you yeah. want to try searching for me. Just, just go try searching. Uh, you can follow me at Patrick Schwag. You can follow the pod at Spot Games Pod, both on Twitter. And we are Spotlight Games Pod everywhere else. That's Instagram, TikTok, right here on Twitch and YouTube as well. Thanks for being here. Um, we will be back this week on Wednesday. We're bringing The Last of Us stream back with Rose on the Sticks. My PlayStation 5 is right here actually fixed. So we're, we're picking back up Seattle day one. We're almost done with day one, if that means anything to you. Um, and then we'll be back next week on Tuesday when we normally do our shows right here on twitch.tv slash Spotlight Games Pod with another episode of the podcast. What will we talk about? Who the fuck knows? But until then, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.